like if you didn't use tape whatsoever okay so just push all that down turn it around and just we'll trim the edges shortly and just get all that done without knocking your paint over and then this one okay so I'm just trimming my edges why is this not working why are my scissors not working need to buy some sharper scissors okay so I've taped taped the back then you get your push pins and you're just going to push them in to the corners best you can Whoop. if I can get that in there and then the last one okay I can move this because I made a mess before so it's a little bit wonky So a couple of these probably need to go in a bit further. Okay, that's better. It's not wonky. Okay, so I might turn my light on. I didn't have my light on before. Why is my light not working? There it is. Okay. So, okay, so if you have a level, you can pretty tell if it's level because it's not wonky. Otherwise, if you do have a level, just give it a quick. So, yep, yeah. so it's level. So, can you see? Yes. Okay, so we have our torch ready. I'm going to plug in my hairdryer. And make sure it's off. Okay, got the torch ready. So, first thing we're going to do is get our base colour. Now, if you want to, you can wear gloves I don't always wear gloves um, so you don't don't have to so I just pour a bit of this on here well, obviously not all of it is on there and we're just going to spread it out with the hairdryer I'm just going to pop the bubbles with the torch. Ok, 
Okay, with the sides, um, whatever the drips are, if there's drips on the table here, I just grab it up with, with your finger and just touch up the sides just while you've got the base down. Whoever doesn't have paint on the sides, just scoop it up with your finger and just touch up all your sides with the excess paint. So I'm not going to fast forward this because if you're watching this you probably would like to follow along and know exactly what to do. Okay, so I'll just get to the back here. Okay, so I've got my base down, I've torched it. So now we've got to figure out, you can put these in whatever order you would like. I usually go a paint metallic, paint metallic. Sometimes I put the metallics together. So now this purple here, it's got a, it's like a, um, it's a dimension acrylic, but it's got a little bit of gloss in it. So when your pen dries, it'll have a little bit of a sheen wherever you see the purple. Okay. So, where do I want this? I might go, might do an easy one today. We'll just go, don't know whether to go just across, might just go up and up. Okay, so we'll start at this corner and we're just going to go up and maybe a bit up here okay and as you can see there'll be enough left for at least another painting or two okay then I'm going to put the metallic blue and that just goes straight over the purple and up this way Okay, as you can see, plenty enough left for another couple of paintings. So what you can do is just empty them. If you've got bottles, you just empty your paint into your bottles. Or if you're going to do painting in the next couple of days, and we'll just do the pink. If you're going to do painting in the next couple of days, just pour it. Um, pour it. Just cover it with. Um, what's it called? Glad wrap. Okay, and the last one is the silver. So, they're my Harley Quinn colours. Okay, so what we're going to do with the excess white is let's just give this a bit of a torch first. So, let's torch this. Okay, any air bubbles. So I'm going to surround this with a little bit of white. So whatever white you've got left, just surround this a bit. Because with a Dutch pour, we blow the white over first. Some people don't. Some people just like it nice and vibrant and will just start at one end and just blow the colors um, so you can just fiddle with it and just see which way you prefer so I'm going to put this on low and blow the white over the colors and don't do what I just did I just, I just knocked my um, pink over. Okay, let's get this pink. Okay, paints, paints like gold, so you can salvage it salvage it okay 
move this out of the way so I don't spill any more colours. Okay, so I've pushed the white over the um, colours. We're going to get the torch again. We're going to pop any bubbles. And then we're just going to let it sit for a minute. Okay? Why, why we let it sit is you've got all these cells that are popping up here. Well, that's silver. It's gorgeous. See all these cells here? Okay. Now, we're just going to blow it up. So, I might try it on low first, just to blow it out a bit. Um, I might start probably in the middle here. Just have a fiddle with it with the um, hair dryer going in whatever direction. Try to have your hair dryer pointing downwards and then move it out. Okay, see these cells popping up in here around here. Now, if you want more cells popping up, just get your torch. There's already look at all these cells here and just give it a little bit of a torch. I usually like to do the petals because you can see more colours coming up. This is gorgeous here, but I might torch just here. Um, and the top here. Okay. So. So this is a painting with um, just the paints and water so let me know what you think if you have any questions please leave a comment below I will bring you down and we'll have a closer look at this um, the other thing you can do with your paintings is you just touch it up a little bit if you don't like just push that back in I didn't like that bit on the end there um, you can actually blow your paintings out. I'm actually quite happy with it. No, I don't really want to blow any of it out anyway. But you've got all this shimmer all in here. This is gorgeous up here. Okay, I'll bring you down to have a look. I just want to torch this little bit in here. That's pretty. And where else needs torches? Okay. I think that should do it. I'll bring you down to have a look. Okay, so remember that when you're finished your painting, get your stick and get all those drips off underneath your painting okay so go around all four sides and get all your drips off okay the other thing you need to do is if you've got any bare bits like this one here just dip your finger in the paint and just touch up around there okay and it just pulls the paint down Okay, but do remember that if you, there's some more drips. So definitely pick up all your drips. Okay. And just check all the sides of your painting. They're so pretty. All your sides and go around all four sides. Collect all the drips and because it'll stop, it'll stop um, pulling, pulling on your painting. 
Okay, so this is the Dutch pour we did with just water. See all that shimmer in there? Hang on, where is it? There it is. Okay. We'll have a look at all this. Look at all that. And go up here, there's some more cells. That's so pretty, look at that. Okay, come up here. Go up to the right, you see all that shimmer again. So you can manipulate it by blowing on it with your mouth or with a straw. That's so pretty. Love that there. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you would like to leave a comment, if you have any questions regarding um, mixing and consistency, um, please leave a message below. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, I'll see you again soon for another pour.